Hi there. Have you ever thought how your smartphone spell checks your messages and suggests you an autocompletion? If you thought, if your first thought was it uses artificial intelligence, neural networks, machine learning, something, uh, this video might be interesting for you because um, if you remember before the very powerful smartphones, they were like very like low, not that powerful phones that had T9 support, for example. Obviously, those um, simple phones hadn't this uh, computing power to support machine learning or things that didn't exist back then. Uh, but how they did this? And still today, in a lot of systems, uh, there's no machine learning or artificial intelligence, but they're still able to do auto-completion or spell checking. But how this works? My name is Mago, and today I want to talk about this algorithmic approach to spell check things using uh, Levenstein distance and BK trees. Let's start from uh, Levenstein distance. Levenstein distance is um, it's a string metric which says a difference between one sequence and another sequence. Or in other words, how uh, the minimum number of changes that we need to do in a, a string one to convert it into the string two. For example, word book has a Levenstein distance uh, from word nook one because we need to replace one character. It's called a single uh, character editing and Levenstein uh, distance allows us three different editing. So it's a replacement, insertion and deletion. Um, doesn't matter which one we take uh, as soon as we take the shortest path to convert one string into another. Algorithm to compute Levenstein distance uh, you can find in for example in uh, Wikipedia. Uh, I will leave the link in the description and also I will leave my code uh, written on Rust uh, to compute the Levenstein distance. It's not idiomatic correct Rust language uh, approach, but still it works, um, gives you a like, rough presentation how, how it works. Let's take a couple of words like book and the same like nook. In this case, um, these sequence uh, like word one, and word two differ has have a Levenstein distance one, um, and obviously this difference is this one. Like if we replace uh, b by n, we get a string one. So let's say it's our source, and this is a target. And if we want to convert our source to target, we need to replace uh, b by n. And this gives us a Levenstein distance one. It's a classic example of dynamic programming when we chunk the bigger problem to the smaller problems. In this case, we solve the, this problem for each uh, character in the in the in the each word in the each sequence, and uh, compute this like iteratively or recursively, depending like which approach you take, like bottom to top or top to bottom. Usually it looks like uh, you have a matrix which has um, some number of uh, rows and um, words not necessarily have to be a same distance, uh, same, same length. And usually it looks like this. So you have um, like, z let's give it some indexes here, zero, one, two, three, four, Usually we would leave uh, fir like zero and first one empty and start writing our word from uh, from uh, second or third uh, index and let's uh, write like uh, like cat and uh, code for example and. Let's say here is an empty string and um, how many actions we need to take to convert empty string to empty string. Obviously it's zero. And um, this is our um, 
current cost of like distance, but um, cost for a particular step. And this will be our previous step for, for the next one. Uh, initially, we always write like fill the, this matrix like zero um, to convert empty string to to uh, C. So remember this like dynamic dynamic programming approach, and we taking like single small problem uh, instead of whole big problem to convert empty string to the C. Uh, we need uh, one action. Then to convert um, empty string uh, into A, we also need one um, action like insertion. In this, uh, but we already had had the step like one here. So we one plus one gives us two. So it was previous cost, current cost one gives us two. And again here to convert uh, to change the empty string to this state we need uh, to do one insertion of t uh, which makes one and the smallest previous step it's two which gives us three uh, like likewise will be here so in this case uh, we look our options here like zero one one what is like the smallest cost to do next action it's zero and in this case, we have C, C are equal. And um, the cost of conversion of source, uh, source to target is zero. And then um, in the next would be um, C to A would be a replacement. Um, in this case, uh, zero, zero. So the smallest one from zero, one, two, it's zero plus one replacement gives us one. Um, smallest from one to three uh, is one. Replacement of C to T is one action. One plus uh, one gives us two. And likewise, we fill this um, matrix to the end. In the end, we will have a path of steps which cost us least. So, um, um, in, in this case, it will be like Levinstein and distance will be equal to. Um, you can watch this in the Wikipedia page, more detailed explanation, how different approaches, different calculations works. Um, it's not super efficient though. So, uh, it's anyway will, will take a lot of time and uh, computation complexity is uh, pretty high. So we have this, um, Levinstein distance program, and we want to apply this to um, uh, to our problem of uh, spell checking. And before we do so, we need um, um, we need we need a dictionary of words. Against this dictionary, we will uh, we will check our in user input. And I have a, a sm small dictionary here: um, book, books, boo, boon, cook. Uh, cake, cape, card. And if we have here as like input, uh, some user input, uh, sorry for my handwriting, um, we usually we would need to check this input against every uh, word and find the best match. Um, but the thing is, if you remember, I said the uh, Levenstein distance calculation is usually um, uh, big O N um, power two. It's like it takes a lot of time uh, to compute all these things, and it may might be like not that efficient if you have like not 10, 10, 10 words, but ten thousand uh, even more, like hundred thousand words in your dictionary. Instead of calculating input against every word, we pre-calculate our dictionary using the Levenstein uh, distance. We do this using BK trees. BK trees are named after the two guys who invented these trees, and these trees basically work like any tree trees in computer science, and. In this case, book is um, like node is a word and arc is a distance. And um, to start to build this tree, it's not very easy. Like we calculate, we take any 
any any word in our case we take like book as a as a root node and call it like a uh, book and it's our root node and this root node can have uh, child nodes um, but only one child node per Levenstein distance so if you have two uh, words with Levenstein distance one um, you, you, the direct child of book will be like one of them and the second will be moved deeper in the tree so we have a book and books in our case it's a, a Levenstein distance one um, and we have boo uh, so again, uh, we go iteratively through every word and check every uh, calculate Levenstein distance between this word and root node. Um, this uh, very important th thing. So we check against um, root node, we have one. And then we check boo against the root node, we have Levenstein distance also one because we need to remove one k and we get out of the boo uh, just boo. So instead of putting this here, here with one, we put it down here and calculate um, obviously distance between a books and boo, it's two. And uh, so on. So boon, it also, also has a um, um, Levenstein distance uh, one against root node we move it deep down here so um, in this case against books it will give us uh, also 2 because we need to replace k and s um, and like replace k by n and remove s to get boon so we move it down here and it will give us uh, boon and this one gives us um, 1 then we have cook um against this one so we replace b by c and we get so again one we can put it here and we move down and we place it here cook uh, levenstein distance two and so on this is our tree like bk tree uh, small one and let's imagine that we receive a user input someone tries to write cook but uh, miss tips on the keyboard and writes uh, uh, I don't know Q and J and obviously in this case that like good match will be cook uh, as we think but the computer doesn't know this so how, how we find out which like something maybe it's cook maybe it's uh, boon we assume he made multiple mistakes and so on to do so, to do this search and to know in which branch of tree we need to make search and um, we need to take an um, assumption and say what is our threshold? What is the biggest um, Levenstein distance that we are ready to take? I, or smallest one that we, we, uh, we want to get. Uh, if we say this auto completion replacement for this word can not be longer than two threshold it's two and uh, this would mean we we want to search uh, all like branches where Levenstein distance of root node to user input uh, minus threshold and uh, Levenstein distance between root and input plus uh, this threshold. In our case, let's say uh, Levenstein distance between Kui Kuj uh, will be 2 because we need to replace B with C and replace K with J. This will be 2 uh, minus 2 threshold and um, 2 plus 2. Um, using these um, so 0 and 4 
uh, we, we will move uh, through, through the branches of uh, this tree and eventually add like we do a classic traversing of tree uh, and eventually adding a node to a list of uh, spell check result. This this basically how this uh, works and with mod for more details you can uh, google a bit and find some examples of code and so on and I'm pretty sure that for most cases where you might need a spell checking or auto completion, this would be more efficient, uh, time, more time efficient, more computing efficient, and it will give a good result compared to machine learning, neural networks, or whatever you will, you can came up, came up with. Of course, it won't be a very, very smart solution. It, it doesn't know, um, know about context of the message, it doesn't care about this, it only cares about current input and what is the best uh, spell check result for like, uh, what is the nearest other words to this word. That's it for, for the moment. I hope it was interesting for you and you learned something new, new from this video. Um, consider subscribing, hit the like button and ring the bell so you get notification about new videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.